everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I was watching some chickens, ducks, and peacocks, and Jim came in and I says, is it time for my video? I guess it is time for my video. And he says, so you're watching some cluck clucks and quack quacks? And yeah, and I didn't know what the... I don't know what a peacock, peacock says, says either. Who knows what a peacock says? If you can put it in the comments, put it in the comments, because I don't know what the peacock says. Today, I'm going to do, this is going to be a random kind of chit-chat, because I've got a lot of stuff I wrote down on the paper, but none of, those, none of it is long enough. None of it. Isn't that a place? None yep. of it? None it's of it in Canada. Canada. <laughs> <laughs> none of it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, boy, that's what came to mind there. Okay, I was reading a comment from Purple on 3. And she was saying that she still has a rooster, and her rooster's name is Roosevelt. Well, you know, Dorothy hatched out a, a chick that I thought was going to be a girl. I have a feeling it's going to be a boy. So that one I'm going to name Roosevelt. So now I have a rooster. I forgot the other rooster's name. Evelyn? Yeah, Evelyn. Hmm. I have a rooster Evelyn and a rooster Roosevelt. And I have enough hens, as long as they don't wear the feathers off their back. I really don't like to see that. And my chickens, the only ones that are, are easy to catch are the new ones. And my buffs, the other ones, are just too scatterish. They would never settle down. Then I was reading the comment from Diane Thurlman. Hello, Diane. And she said that she had a couple names for the two little chicks that don't have a name. Well, the one name I liked... I like Myrtle, so I decided I'm going to name one of the chicks Myrtle. I was looking at them and trying to figure out which one do I want to be Myrtle. I haven't decided. It'll have to be one that's kind of slow at getting places, so I have to kind of observe them a little longer. So one will be called Myrtle. There's still one little chick that's not named. Then I was um, talking. I had gotten a message from Jan from New York City. Hi, Jan. This, oh, I forgot to bring my prop in. Oh, I've oh. got to go get it. I will go get my prop, but the next little comment's going to be about Jan. Got to love when people say, well, I'm back. Well, they didn't even know you were gone, so, but I am back. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was, I was um, reading Jan from New York City's comment, and she said that she left me a message on one of her videos. So I went over and watched to see what it was, and she had gotten a, a 18 pack of free range eggs and on one and she was actually afraid to open the carton it was kind of cute i really got a good chuckle out of this video jan where you were afraid to open that carton because in her carton she found well it might have looked more like this one i've got two of them here and what these are is the down from a hen she had there maybe you can see it i don't know i'll hold it there a while just to make sure. And she thought of oh, what you got. Oh, that might help. Black, that dark yeah, background. That might help. There. Yeah, that's better. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. That's something better. Well, anyways, she was afraid to open up her eggs because she saw this and she wasn't sure if a chicken was <laughs> trying to hatch. It made me think of another story, but I'll finish on this. So it's okay. This is just... This is just the down of the hens. This is the nice soft stuff that's underneath the big feathers. And it was stuck to her egg. That's what they take and put into the jackets. So the, it yeah, if you, if you had nice it right, it would, it would keep you really warm. Well, I don't need my down. There, just float it away. But anyways, Jan, that won't hurt you. You just wash the egg off and that should come off with it. It's just on the outside. That egg should not have had that on there because if you got it from the store, they were supposed to have been washed, even though they're free-ranged. So I don't know. But my my eggs, could you could find a feather in my eggs if you... Um, or not, not in. on. Yeah, on. <laughs> they're not in it. The in, they're only in it if my head has sat on it for 20 one day <laughs> then you that yeah and it's got to be fertilized now those eggs chances are they're not even fertilized that you found that feather on because 
I don't think commercial eggs are. They, they don't, don't have roosters. They don't with have them. roosters around, no. No, they they destroy all roosters. They like the eggs, but they don't like the roosters, which, which is kind of crazy. So how do you get chicks if you don't have a rooster, you know? Like, mm -hmm. really, you need the both. Okay, well, that brought to mind, because Jan was saying that she's a city girl from New York City, and I'm the country girl from New York. Well, New York and New York. And it brought to mind when we were, we had a cow. We had a brown cow, as a matter of fact. I don't know what kind of cow they are when they're brown. But it was a good milker. <laughs> and she had just had a calf. And there was some distant cousins of Mr. I think they were Mr. Polizzi's. I'm not sure. Relatives that came down. They used to come from Buffalo. And they would come to see us. And so they were city people and we were country people. Well, we were milking the cow and she had just had a calf. So that first couple of milkings is called the freshening. And those milkings you don't drink. You throw them away or you give them back to the calf and let the calf have it. It's got a lot of colostrum in it. So anyways, we were milking it and in the bucket it has like a brownish tin. And she goes, oh, so now I know where chocolate milk comes from. A brown cow. <laughs> we all just <laughs> cracked up laughing because, no, it's because the cow had just had a calf. So the freshening milk was kind of brownish. Then it brought another my, another um, thought to my mind, this egg thing. My brother, when he was in the Navy, my brother Anthony, the one that I always call when I have chicken troubles and I want to know something. Well, when he was in the Navy, some guy offered him, I think it was $50, if he would drink three raw eggs. Well, we used to drink all raw eggs all the time. So Anthony said, sure, he'll drink the egg. So you put a little hole in the one end, a little hole in the other end, and you hold it, and then you suck the egg down. And the yolk part is the best part, actually. Getting past the whites is yucky to me, but I used to do it too. And so he drank the, th he sucked the three eggs and got fifty dollars. They thought he was pretty cool. <laughs> then there was another. Um, Oh, the, that $50, 50, the $50, 50 bucks, yeah. It was 50 bucks is 50 bucks, so he, he got it. Well, that brought another thing to my mind, where this old man and this old lady, and it was Mr. Pucci and Mrs. Pulsey. Now, I don't know why they were by different names, because they were married, but she used to go by the American name, and he used to go by the Italian name. But anyway, she wanted to ride up in the helicopter, and every year at the fair they had the helicopter, and this one year she said to him, she says, let's go up in that helicopter. He goes, oh, we're not going up in that helicopter. It's 50 bucks, and I don't have 50 bucks to just waste on a ride in the helicopter. She goes, oh, please, I'm 85 years old. You don't ever know how long I'm going to live, and you're pretty old too, which Mr. Pucci was very old. And the guy was standing there, and he heard them talking about it. And he says, hey, I'll tell you what. I'll bring you both up for nothing. But you got to keep your mouth shut. The first word out of your mouth, and you'll have to pay me the 50 bucks. And Mr. Pucci looked at Mrs. Pulsey, and he says, can you keep quiet? And she says, well, sure, I can keep quiet. Can you keep quiet? He says, sure, I can keep quiet. So they got into the helicopter, and they went up. And the guy says, oh, I'm going to give this couple a really good ride because they will they will crack and they will say something. Well, so he did his real fast. He went up real fast and he let the helicopter drop real fast. He did loop-de-loos. He did lots of stuff that helicopters aren't really supposed to do. And when they got down, he says, gosh, you two kept real quiet. You really didn't say a word. And he goes, uh, Mr. Pucci got out and then... He goes, well, where's your wife? And he goes, oh, yeah, she fell out a long time ago. And he goes, and you never said nothing? He says, well, 50 bucks is 50 bucks. So they got to keep their money. And yep. poor Mrs. Pulsey. Then another time, and that brought back to mind, <laughs> that story <laughs> led to another story where Mr. Pucci was standing out in the field. We were across the street. We used to have black raspberries across the street. And we were looking... We were picking our berries, and we could see Mr. Pucci just standing there in the field. 
And finally, my dad says, I'll have to go see what's going on. He goes, hey, La Pooch. And he goes, hey, Alec, as he called my father. He used to call us biggie girls. But anyways, he goes, hey, um, Poochie, what, what are you standing in the field for? And he goes, hey, you want to be important? You got to be outstanding in the field. So that's what he did. He stood in the field. Okay, what did that one bring me to? Let's see. Oh, nothing else. <laughs> but Emily came by today, and, and as soon as she walks through the door, I said, did you bring your laundry? No, she didn't bring her laundry. And what did she do? She brought Maya, and Jim goes, every time you come, Emily, you want something. And what did she want? She wanted me to cut Maya's nails. So we cut Maya's nails, and she got her nails cut. Then I was watching Darlene May McFat, My Life the, with Parkinson's. Well, Darlene was talking about her husband liked roller skating, and I mentioned in there that I liked roller skating too. In fact, I could do the dances and everything, and I, a lot of people thought I taught roller skating. Well, one time when I was roller skating, I wore a wig. <laughs> can you guess? <laughs> you probably can. Well, anyways, I was skating around, and it was at a point in my life where I rarely fell. I didn't fall anymore, but this one time I fell. And when I fell, the wig flew. I had braids, and my braid came down. I had to scoop up my wig, and I skated to the bathroom as fast as I could. And then I thought, now, now what am I going to do? Everybody saw me. But I put my wig back on and came back out and finished skating. Oh, gosh, the things I did. <laughs> <laughs> that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope I gave you a good, happy time with my stories that... To me, they are good, but, you know, I've heard them many times. <laughs> Have a nice night, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.